my child suffering from this very um, recently described illness, anti-NMDA encephalitis. Uh, please, everyone go out and, and just look it up. Spend 30 seconds and Google the foundation. It's anti-ndmafoundation.org. Please read patient stories. Um, one day your child may suffer from a relatively benign symptom. And uh, again, it may cascade into something far more serious. My whole goal for, for talking about this um, on air is, is to try to encourage really not only families, but specifically our primary care physicians to educate themselves on this. This should be on their radar. When I went to my primary care physician and they told me it was something as simple as, as allergies and now you know my son lost all function within a month after that. So again, uh, vitally important that our, our physicians are out there getting on the leading cusp of education for these type of illnesses and that we donate, please donate towards research so we can find a true, if not cure, treatment for things like this. This is not as rare as we like to think. This is just undescribed. There are many illnesses which our children go to the hospital with and uh, the doctors simply don't know. And this is one of those illnesses prior to 2007. They just had no idea what it was. It didn't have a name. And although we have a name for it, we don't have uh, research towards it. We don't have people who are going out there and spending the millions of dollars that they spend on other research uh, to help find a treatment for this. And, uh, and it's not until yourself or your children are suffering that you understand the dire need. So, so please um, look up the website. Please gain some awareness. And I challenge you to ask your primary care physician the next time uh, anyone, adult or child, is in, your, in their facility, ask them, do you know what this is? And ask them if they know what the symptoms are. And ask them if they know what the treatment is. And if the answer is no, uh, encourage them to, to at least spend 10 minutes and, and read some literature on it. Because again, uh, it's not until you're in need that, that you truly realize the magnitude of, of diseases like this. Thank you.